I think there is a recognition of uh, the, the challenges, and I think there is also a recognition uh, 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 of the fact that we, we need to adapt. And indeed, uh, the, uh, all the initiatives that are mentioned to you and uh, that are sort of uh, uh, regrouped under the umbrella initiative of the Secretary General of the United Nations, which is called Action for Peacekeeping, um, all, all these initiatives are widely supported by uh, our member states. Um, now, I believe that uh, it is also important to look at the fact that uh, even if uh, many of, uh, of our peacekeeping operations are, are, um, are faced with the, uh, the, the lack of progress in the, in the political processes that they are supporting, um, it is important to, uh, to, to, to be aware of the fact that uh, uh, thanks to the presence of our peacekeepers, ceasefires are being maintained. In other words, you know, we, our peacekeepers uh, uh, prevent the resumption of facilities in, in, in many places in where they are deployed. Uh, and our peacekeepers are also protecting hundreds of thousands of civilians every single day. And sometimes they are doing this alone uh, with uh, very uh, few, uh, if any, uh, presence of uh, uh, the security forces of a uh, host government. And I think uh, it's important to be aware because uh, 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 there's, um, it, it is always important to, to, to think of, uh, okay, what would happen if these peace operations were not there? You know what, what? What would be the consequences? And I believe that uh, uh, some of the, uh, the the developments in uh, in in some countries where uh, peacekeeping operations were deployed at the point and uh, are not there anymore, uh, I think should give us uh, a pause, or at least should really make us think about you know what what, what is the alternative? What if those peacekeeping operations were not there anymore? 